Alright, hello everybody, once again, welcome to another how-to video on how to put a muzzle flash to a gunshot. So, uh, this is a real gun, uh, firing, um, a pistol, but I kind of feel the need for a muzzle flash to make it a little more realistic, or movie-like. Uh, so I'm gonna kinda... Yeah, so as you can see, I got this muzzle flash right here, and I'm gonna put that right here and get rid of all that black spot. So take this video track and move it down once, and take this and put it right where you want it. Uh, you're gonna kind of want to zoom in a bit in the timeline so you can get it exact, exactly where you want. Let's see. Yeah, right there. Right when you see the smoke. I will put this right here. And I'm gonna zoom in even more so you can kinda see the frames like right here. But before I do that, I wanna crop it. I wanna crop it and get rid of all this and move it where I want. So go to the cropping thingy right here. Um then you can resize it and do all that and move it. So just take this. You can move it around where you want it. So you know that's that's pretty cool. Um but again you want to get rid of that black stuff. So right click on that, click media effects and click chroma tear, I think that's how you say it. Um then on these colors here you want to select black and then kind of play around with this so the flash on the screen you see is just right. You might want to add some blur to it. Right, about right. Right there is good. Alright, perfect. And uh, okay, so now back to the cropping. Uh, I want to make this bigger to make the flash on the screen smaller. So you're going to want to move this around and place it exactly where you want. Think about right here pretty much. Um, yeah, so as you can see it's not perfectly you know at the angle because he's kind of shooting forward instead of like straight sideways but that's that's kind of for other muzzle flashes. You can look on Google Images and you can find a ton of muzzle flashes. So, uh, yeah, then you want to shorten this down. <coughs> uh, I would probably just do one frame because I think it's best that way. Yeah, about right here. Alright. And then, as you can see, you have the muzzle flash right there. And you can do this for all the parts where he fires the gun. Boom, right there. Uh, take this, place it right where the scrubber is. <coughs> yeah, and it and it saves when you <coughs> when you when you get rid of the black stuff, uh the chroma thing, it saves so you don't have to do it again over and over. But you do have to crop it and place it, which is actually a good thing because you need to um place it whoops right where you need it uh, where is it <sighs> so yeah just resize the box He already fired the gun, so I don't think it... Yeah, there we go. Right there. <coughs> Make it bigger. Alright, well, you, you guys get the point, actually. So that's, that's pretty much how you fire a gun. You can play around with the cropping. It's a little bit tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. And uh, 
I just shorten that down? And boom. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. Uh, that's a 40 caliber gun he's shooting there, so. I uh, hope this all helped you. And once you've done that, simply just render.